Well, good afternoon and welcome to another video. Beautiful day. Got shelter up already. I didn't film the putting up of the shelter. Um, I'm here with Mark. Um, Mark's got a new dog. Uh, it's actually a rescue dog. So she's a bit nervous. He's only had her like 48 hours. And of course, it's the first time she's met me. So for the last hour, has been non-stop barking. But I'm sure she'll settle down in a minute. She'll be okay. I'm sure she will. So we've got the Russian hammock but on the floor, set up as a bivvy, which I've done many times before. Works very well. Um, but the size of it, it's only about the size of a cot bed. So there's room for me and nothing else. And we've got forecast of quite a bit of rain overnight. So I've stuck the tarp over so I can stick my bag, my boots, chair, that sort of thing, just under the tarp, probably behind the bivvy, to keep them dry. And of course it'll keep the bivvy dry as well. It's never leaked on me so far, but it's got a thick canvas bottom. And I mean, you know, really thick canvas. And when that gets wet, it just takes forever to dry. So <laughs> the tarp's twofold really. It's aiding my laziness with not wanting to dry it. And it'd be somewhere to put my boots and bag and that overnight. Right, so have a quick look under here just for people that haven't seen the, the Russian hammock before. It's essentially like a, a tent, tent shaped, um, that you hang from the trees. But it works just as well on the floor as I've got it now. I don't know quite how well you can see, but this, this is the canvas up to here. It's very thick in the bottom. And then normal tent material on the top. It's got a large zip door for access. It's two layers. It's got a, um, a mesh and a waterproof door. And the same, I've got two more windows, for want of a better description. There, which I've going to leave the outers open in fact I'll leave all the outers open tonight and just have the mesh keep the bugs out but as you can probably see sleeping bag and sleep mat goes right to the foot end that's it it's not very big you, you can't even sit up in it that's that's how small it is um, the advantage I have used it in the winter in some really cold weather and being a small space it really holds some heat uh, you do get condensation, even with the windows open, when it's all zipped up, but, you know, it's it's a bit of a trade-off. On the foot here, you see the, the poles, a normal sort of like tent position, holding up the tent poles. Normally, they would be across through here, through these loops, to make it into like a, a, a bridge hammock. But they're the right length, I guess they've been designed in that way that you can just put them on end instead and turn it into a, a mini tent. So that will be my home for tonight. Got a little bit of ground sheet sticking out there for getting my boots off and that sort of thing. Tarp comes out roughly the same amount to cover it, so that's cool. And I've got plenty of space at the back there where I can stick my chair and boots or bag or whatever I decide overnight, ready for if the rain turns up which is designed to at about 12, if you can trust the forecast, from 12 through to about six, quite heavy. I think also this is the only sort of tent that I've got. I've got a bug net that's got the camo printed on it, rather than you know, plain black or whatever. <laughs> It's actually very effective. You can't really see in there when there's just that, that zipped up. Um, yet when you're on the inside, you can see out through it perfectly fine. But it's, uh, I think that's just a, a nice touch. And on a warm day, like today, of course it gives you a nice amount of airflow. Got this big opening here, and then the one at the head end and one at the side there, so it's all around your, all around your head. You've got the airflow, 
and you know it will cut down on the condensation. When it's zipped up, you do get condensation. Um, the inner door, obviously still the same camo as the outer. And these two, there's actually zip runs around them, they zip together in one. Um, I still haven't quite worked out why the bug net is on the outside of the waterproof door. Because if it's wet and you've got it closed up, you know, the bug net itself is going to get wet. You would have thought it would have been the opposite way around. Maybe there's a reason for that, I don't know. But it just seems a, that seems to me a funny way of doing it. Right, so that's where I'm spending the night. Um, I'm going to wander off into the woodland now and film a separate video, which you'll probably see later in the week. So look out for that one. That's a beautiful day here on site. If I turn you around that way, I know it's not very good for the selfie cam. There's uh, Mark, and he's he's got his French F2 tent out, and currently the dog is in the tent. And I think that's why she's gone quiet. She can't see me. <laughs> She'll settle down eventually. And then you might get a picture. Right, well, that's got the fire going. Because it was getting a bit, a bit buggy around here. So, a little bit of smoke. Now I get rid of all them pesky little critters that are annoying me. As you can see, I've just gone a triangle with the logs lit it in the centre because it you know it gives it a little bit of shelter from the wind that should go nicely once it gets established Well, dinner tonight, something I haven't had for a long time, a tin of meatballs. Now, I'm, I'm quite a fan of meatballs, uh, but normally I have decent ones at home. Sometimes even make them myself out of sausage meat. Um, but I used to love this sort of meatballs in a can when I was a, a, a kid. And I haven't had it for years, so i um, quite looking forward to that. And the only thing is, I've just realised that they're chicken meatballs. Okay, not quite what I would call meatballs. I suppose it's still meat, but I always think of, you know, like lamb or beef or something like that. But yeah, chicken meatballs. And the advantage of that, of course, this particular one, ring pull top. Why aren't all cans ring pull top nowadays? It'd be a lot bloody easier. Um, I'm just going to lob it in a pot to warm up. And I've got some Uncle Men's. Cajun style rice to dump in there to bulk it out a little bit to fill me up. <clears throat> I shouldn't need too much to be honest because I did have, have quite a big uh, lunch. Um, I had bacon sandwiches, side salad and big chunky home cook, cooked chips for lunch. Um, because once a fortnight we go and have lunch with Kate's mum at the local pub near her house and uh, they do great food so yeah I was, I was in in the local pub at lunchtime and really really nice lunch so I'm not hungry at the moment but when I am I'm quite looking forward to the meatballs it'll uh, hopefully bring back good memories although I've never had these ones or chicken but I'm sure they'd be fine Well, that's heated through. I don't think I can oh, show you how pouring it out. But, uh, smells good. I find out what it tastes good in a minute. It's a little bit hot. Dinner. Right. 
I'm not, I'm not going to go away. You have to get used to it. If there's a smell on the ground that's more interesting than me, that makes a change. Good girl. Must have been out there digging holes and all sorts. <laughs> yeah. Well, it's a bit later now. It's about 10 o'clock. It's not going to be that long, I think, before we get some shut-eye. But the evening's gone well. Uh, dog settled down nicely. Um, the dog's name's Dingo. Not Mark's choice. It, it came with the name Dingo. Um, she's, she's settled nicely now. She's still a little unsure of me. Um, as we're talking here, I'm actually stroking her head. She's laying on the floor next to me. If I move suddenly, she's a bit, bit sketchy, but, but not bad. A uh, big improvement to the, the barking when I first turned up. But yeah, it's all new to her. But uh, yeah, good evening. And Mark is, oh, how far away? About 20 metres away. He's just putting some leftover dog meat out on the tree where we normally leave stuff for Mr. Fox. Um, I've put a few leftovers out there as well earlier on. And I think he's going to set up the trail camera. So uh, we might might get some footage of Mr. Fox snacking. But so far, every time we've set a camera up, <coughs> he hasn't turned up. <laughs> Quite typical. But uh, there you go. Right. I'll see you at bedtime. Well, we're just getting organised, just having a bit of a tidy up, and I don't know if you can hear it or not, the, the heavens have decided to open, and we're actually a couple of hours early, according to the forecast. Um, but, you know, it was the end of the evening, it doesn't really matter. Uh, with it coming early, maybe we get to pack up in the dry in the morning. That'd be a bonus, who knows, but uh, anyway. Time to zip myself in, get my head down, and get some sleep. I'll see you in the morning. All right, bug door zipped up. I did say it was small in here, but here's my feet. <laughs> oh dear, still, never mind. It's just somewhere to sleep. something like that. But I've stayed warm and dry. So. No sign of Mark. No sign of the dog. Ugh. So they must be still asleep. Which is good. Mm. I don't think I'm going to get up and make a brew yet. It's a little bit too early. Plus it's wet. So I think I'll stay in bed. And just have the radio on. Catch you in a bit. Keep 
great mischief for five minutes. Yeah. Oh no, she found a tree. That's far more interesting. <laughs> it's a big stick. It's bigger. Get it then. Well, we've had a little break in the rain this morning, so just rushed and got most of the stuff packed away now. Mark's just taking his tent down. Um, because of how the weather is, I don't think I'll be doing any more filming today. So thanks for watching, and I'll see you on the next video.